Hi, good afternoon. Um, we thought maybe since a lot of kids are home right now, we would try to do a story hour um, every day, but we'll see if we can do it every day. We'll try to do that. And um, today we're gonna do Happy Birthday, Maine, because yesterday was Maine's 200th birthday. Uh, and this book is by Lynn Plord and illustrated by Mark Scott Rickens, who are both Maine authors and illustrators. Um, so it's really beautiful. And I just wanted to say ahead of time, one of the other reasons I wanted to read this one is because it's about a huge party where every single person in Maine is invited. And considering what's happening right now and we can't really do that, let's read about it. Happy birthday, Maine. Happy birthday, Maine. By Downey's Books. Shh. When you're planning a surprise birthday party, you have to be sneaky. Stomp, stomp, clomp, clomp. Stomp, stomp, clomp, clomp. Unless you're Paul Bunyan, unless you're a moose, then it's not easy to tiptoe away to plan a secret party. As Paul Bunyan and Moose reached a clearing in the woods, they heard, who, who? Great question, said Moose. Who will we invite to the party? All 1.3 million residents, of course, said Paul Bunyan, plus any people from away who want to come to. But how can we possibly send out that many invitations, said Moose. A sky chock full of chickadees replied, Chickadee dee dee, wee wee wee. That's a big job for such a wee creature, Moose looked skeptical. Paul Bunyan shrugged. Chickadees are the state bird. It's the least they can do. And they did. You're invited to a birthday party for Maine. If you're wondering how old the birthday girl is, we're not telling you. But she was born in 1820, so you do the math. Date, March 15th. But when you get to be that old, you should celebrate all year long. Time, anytime, day or night. Where, anywhere and everywhere. Within Maine's 35,585 square miles, of course. Potluck, no gifts. Just bring a favorite story to share about your birthday girl. RSVP. ASAP. As soon as the invitations arrived, RSV B RSVP started pouring in. Aya, 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 aya. It's gonna be the biggest party Maine's ever seen, bragged Paul Bunyan. Even bigger than me. Yikes, said Moose. We better get ready, said Moose. Clomp, clomp, stomp, stomp. And get ready, they did. They decorated the whole state in a festive fashion, including every single pine tree, except the ones that were still decorated from Christmas. <laughs> they prepared and practiced for competitions and games, including potato sack races, snow sculpting contests, and antler ring tosses, of course. They created costumes for those who wanted to dress up as famous Mainers. Everyone else would just put on their favorite plaids and boots. They bought party favors. Whoopee! Moxie! At last, it was the big day. Surprisingly, there was no stomping or clomping. Paul Bunyan and Moose were nowhere in sight. But that didn't stop everyone else. No one wanted to miss the party of the century or the party of two centuries. It was time to get this party started. Party hats for everyone. Moose would look wicked cute in that hat. A Guinness record setting blueberry pie eating contest. Imagine how many pies Paul Bunyan could have eaten. Toboggan sled races from the top of Mount Katahdin all the way down to Portland Headlight. Dump truck loads of mashed potatoes filled in melted, muddy, grassy spots along the way. Moose and Paul Bunyan would have won this one for sure. Everyone enjoyed the giant potluck buffet set up along Route 1. 
including baked beans, clam chowder, and tortier pie. Oh my. Too bad Moose and Paul Bunyan aren't here to chow down. They work so hard for the party. From the New Hampshire border to Matinicus Island, from Kittery to the county, from the biggest city to the smallest town and everywhere in between, everyone celebrated the way life should be. Everyone celebrated, that is, except Moose and Paul Bunyan. Maine's party, Bonfet, chickadee dee dee. Where could they be, be, be? But there was no more time for wondering. A giant logging truck rumbled to a stop. Partiers surrounded it and oohed and ah at the world's biggest birthday cake. Just as everyone was ready to dive in, the cake top flew off. Happy birthday, Maine, said Paul Bunyan. Happy birthday, Maine, said Moose. Chickadee dee dee. Tee hee hee, said Chickadee. That's the end and all of these beautiful main facts. And another thing I love about this book is Lynn Plord says, to Maine, my heart home. And the illustrator, Mark Scott Ricketts says, to the Maine ship captain who invented the modern donut.